Hello everyone. So in this video, uh, we are going to write SQLize entities for MySQL. Okay. So uh, we'll write like user post tag. So let's get started. Uh, we have created a we have used SQLize CLI in the previous video, and we have created a required folders like migration, seeders, config, and our model. Okay. This is what we have already done. Now. What we will be doing is first of all we have to create one SQLize RC file because currently these environment variables are exposed. Okay, consider if I wanted to get them from .env file, then how would I get them? So for that I need to write I need to convert this .json to .js file. So for that what we can do is SQLize provide a way to change this JSON to .js file. SQLize RC file you can create and what you will have in the SQLize RC file the custom path you are going to have for SQLize file like config inside config I'm going to have a config.js that will take care of this configuration and if I convert it then it will become invalid JSON so we have to use the correct config.json and we will be getting the data from .env module so we are going to use a .env module to load the dot env file into process dot env variable so i think this is pretty much straightforward we are using dot env config and then for development configurations we will be getting all these environment variables and these are already there in the env db username db password db name and node environment is development so based on development environment we will be able to get this chunk of data chunk of data means the mysql object and in our model you can see that we are reading this so this is an auto generated file through the SQL and CLI we are checking the node environment otherwise it is a development and we are getting these configurations from there so now it instead of JSON we are going to have a JS file so we just change it to dot JS and we are passing the environment variable in the config yeah so we have a DB object and on the DB object we are binding all our models. Now what is the next thing is we have to create our models. So here we can create a user.js or let's say post.js. So I will not be talking how what are the different ways to define the associations. If you are going to, if you want to use SQLize fully with your application then you can use SQLize to write migration to query the DB. Some people use SQLize only to write migrations. Migrations are also the plain uh, queries like create table, insert table, update, uh, alter table and all. But we will be using the full features of SQLize to help us in the migration and also query the database. Okay, so uh, let's create our user entity. So in the user entity we are going to have few parameters and how to write module.exports. equalize and data types it takes data types and here we can define and our entity const user and const user is let me zoom this a little bit and our const user will be sequelized or defined so here we are defining the model so it's kind of similar to what we have seen in the mongoose this is a user model and here i will have this is the object so in this object i will be providing all the option definition but means the column definitions so it can be your id first name last name and all like if i add id and first name it will be uh, just a json key value pair inside this object you can say id is integer primary key is true auto increment true and then you can have other columns like first name is there you can add a last name last name will have the same kind of attributes then you can have an email okay 
email should be a unique right so we can add a different attributes email should be unique true allow null false allow null false unique true these are the constraints we are imposing on the email unique true allow null and type data type is a string and finally we have a password so password will have a data type string and allow null false because we are going to provide authentication also to the user so this is my user entity i have created and now if i wanted to talk about associations like how to define the associations in the uh, sqlize then this is a user object i have defined let's close it here and user dot associate and you can just write a function and in that function you will be defining the association rules this function accept all the models we have okay and in this function you can say user is going to have many posts I don't know why this auto complete is not working these are the models and we have post entity which we are going to create okay after doing this we can just return user let me see okay we created this user and then we are returning a user okay so this is the one entity model we have created on sqlize and what this index.js is doing it is reading this file you can see object.key so here we are reading the current directory filtering those files which are having .js extension then we are running a for each for each loop is just importing these models and assigning these models on the db object okay and then it is just uh, we are assigning this uh, we are adding the sqlize and sqlize both small and capital on the db object so now while importing you will be importing the models from this index.js okay similarly we will be writing the post uh, if you just see you can just copy this and we'll just change the attributes here okay this is going to be a post sqlize.define post and inside post we'll have id as a primary key and other columns like title content and all title will be a type string of content so there are many types i think it should be a big text or long text i will check this uh, in the documentation it should be long text text or something okay content and we have a status of this blog if this, this has been published or not it should be a boolean and allow null false there is no point of having unique so we'll remove it so these are the columns we are going to have in the post okay now post will also have associations like a single post is going to belongs to a single user right because user can write multiple posts if you talk about a single post it is going to be associated with a one author you can say so post dot associate and we are accessing the models and we can say post dot belongs to so there are multiple methods post dot has many has one belongs to all these methods are there belongs to your models dot user so indirectly it is saying that a single post will belongs to a single author otherwise it should have it would have called it like post dot has many right now in future we are going to have tags also so like post dot belongs to many means one single post can have many tags so you just need to identify where to write what like in the user we are writing has many right similarly in the post entity in the tag entity we are going to write tag dot has many but in the post entity you will be writing belongs to and belongs to many so that i will cover a little bit about the associations in the next video how we are associating one to one one to many many to many and what need to be right 
what we will be writing in these models to define the associations we are not defining because when you run the sequelized migrations all these associations will automatically get created the primary key of one table will become a foreign key in the another table okay all these kind of associations gets automatically created we just need to follow the sequelized rules to define the associations okay this is we have created for post and for user now whenever we do a sequelized run migration or sequelized sync so here you need to understand sequelize migration will run only those migrations which are written in the folder but these are empty but when you do the sequelize sync so there are this is a utility sequelize sync what it will do is it will look at your your models okay has these been created already in database yes or no if no then it will create them so sequelize sync will create a uh, keep syncing the database with the updates if you do uh, sequelize sync uh if i just talk about that utility sequelize sync if you pass the force true it means it will try to, it will drop all the tables once and then it will create again so we can just look at the documentation okay ta -ta -ta -ta. Let's go here. So you can see here SQLite sync. So in this, if you are passing force true, then it will actually drop all the tables and it will create a one. It will create again, right? Otherwise, after creating the entities, most of your uh, most of our tasks are done. We just need to define the associations. So these are the associations which we can define. Has one belongs to has many belongs to many. Okay. Like uh, if I just talk about in this video itself, who has one bar? It's like a one to one belongs to. So this is when you are defining a relationship with from who to bar, then you will writing it. You will be writing has one. But when you will writing this thing in the bar model, then you will write bar belongs to who. Okay. Similarly, the belongs to uh, has one as the relationship. Similarly. Uh, has many and belongs to many is the relationship because we have to define this association in two different entities one like uh, foo and bar so foo has one and in the bar you will be writing belongs to okay so we can just check that and you can also customize okay what uh, what uh, foreign key you wanted to add you can actually do the same thing through the migration also like creating the all the tables and defining the uh, association with the primary key foreign key manually by specifying what particular id what particular key you want as a foreign key okay that let, let's see that in the next video thanks everyone